Hello, I'm Dr. Yu. Today I'm here to discuss about prevention of Alzheimer's disease evidence-based. So what are the different evidence-based risk factors by preventing them, we can prevent Alzheimer's disease. In this regard, we have to understand some basic concepts. One concept this is important in this is level of evidence. So there are three levels of evidence, level A evidence, level B evidence, and level C evidence. Level A evidence are those which are supported by well-conducted RCTs, while the level B evidence are those which are supported by well-conducted case control or poorly conducted uh, poorly conducted randomized controlled trial. While the evidence C include the expert opinions. The other concept which we need to know is uh, strengths of recommendation. So the recommendations are classified on three classes. The class one are a strong recommendation the class two, which are weak recommendation, and class three, which are not recommended at all. So keeping these two concepts in our minds, the level of evidence and the strength of recommendation, now we'll discuss the certain risk factors or which can be used as preventive strategy for Alzheimer's disease. But we see the Evidence level A mean these are those risk factors or preventive aspect which are supported by well-conducted RCTs. And these are strongly recommended. That mean the level of recommendation is class one. This include cognitive activities, uh, good educational achievement, low BMI in the late life and high BMI in the late life is a risk factor. Lack of diabetes mellitus or well-controlled glycemic index is a preventive aspect while the presence of diabetes mellitus is a risk factor. The hypertension is a risk factor while the normal blood pressure is could be considered as a preventive aspect. Orthostatic hypotension is a risk factor. Head injury is a risk factor. Hyper homocysteinemia is a risk factor. Depression and stress, these are the risk factors. Remember one thing, uh, these uh, are risk factor, but uh, other way around, they can be preventive. And uh, these are, uh, risk factors or the preventive aspects are evidence level A, and uh, these are strongly recommended. That is the class one. In this slide, we can see the evidence level B, risk factors or preventive factors. And these are level B, that means these are supported by well-conducted case control or poorly controlled randomized controlled trial. And the, these are also strongly recommended. That is the uh, class one. So this include obesity and midlife or being fit in the midlife is actually a preventive factor. Weight loss in late life is a risk factor. And uh, being an optimal weight in late life is a preventive aspect. Being physically active is a uh, preventive aspect, uh, not smoking is a preventive aspect, good sleep, good vascular health, and vitamin C. These all are uh, preventive factor and the prevention of Alzheimer's disease. And these are supported by evidence level B, which is uh, a good case control or the evidence from the uh, poorly controlled RCT. There's some class three recommendation. And uh, in class three recommendation, these are the 
strategies or risk factors which are not recommended. And in this regard, we can see evidence level A, evidence level B, and evidence level C. And evidence level A is estrogen, and evidence level B, the estylcholine esterase inhibitor, which does not prevent the Alzheimer's disease, decrease the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. And evidence C, we can see the diastolic blood pressure, the NSAID use, social activities, osteoporosis, pesticide exposure, silicone from drinking water. So these are some of the last three uh, risk factors and uh, which are not recommended. And uh, there are three levels in this. So I hope these uh, evidence-based risk factor, which can be used as a preventive aspect of the Alzheimer disease, this presentation useful. If there's any question, kindly write in the chat box. Thank you for listening.